What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and Profile Builder tutorial for you. So in today's video I thought it would be fun to just create some simple wall shelving using Profile Builder that automatically adds shelving as well as vertical supports. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Right, so this is kind of a demonstration of what Profile Builder is capable of. There's some other applications that you might use this for, but I thought this would be a fun example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing a wall. So I'm just going to draw a 12 foot long by six inch wall and just extruding it up. And so we're going to assume that we want to add some shelving on this face right here. And so what we're going to do in order to set this up in Profile Builder is we're going to need two things. We're going to need the profiles of the shelves and then we're also going to need the vertical supports. And so to start off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to model a vertical support. So. I'm just gonna come in here and I'm just gonna draw this. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this very simple. I'm just gonna assume that this is gonna be some kind of an arm that comes off of the wall, maybe 18 inches. And we'll just give this a thickness of maybe an inch and a half, like this. And we'll say that it comes back to the wall. And so I'm also assuming that it's gonna go down maybe like six inches. So again, this will be an inch and a half, something like this, and then We'll just give this a little bit of a taper right here and erase all this extra out. And so we're assuming that this is gonna have a height between shelves of, I'm gonna call it 18 inches right here, a vertical space. And you'll have less than that because these supports need to get copied up. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this up right here. So then what that gives me is that gives me more of a vertical shelf, right? Well, now I can just come in here and I can just select this and just get these edges and I can copy that up for as many shelves as I want. So in this case, I'm gonna do a times and we'll say maybe a value of five or maybe a value of four right here. Actually, let's do five. So we've got this tall shelf piece right here. I'm gonna erase out all of this extra. So that this is one individual face. And I'm gonna assume this has a thickness of, um, it's gonna be pretty narrow. So we're gonna say that it's got a thickness maybe of a quarter inch, so 0.25 right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna triple click, right click on it, I'm gonna make it a component, and we'll call this a vertical support. Well now, within Profile Builder, we can start using this in order to create our shelving. So now I can add an assembly by going into the assembly dialog and clicking on the button for component. And so within this assembly, I wanna add this component. So I'm just gonna come in here, I'm gonna click on the button for pick from model. And so notice what that does is if I was to come in here and place this like this, first off, you're gonna notice that this is inside of the wall, which is not what I want. So what we wanna do in order to fix this is we actually wanna adjust the model axes for this component because it's placing this based on this location right here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in here with my axes and I'm gonna set my axes so that they actually start right here. So I'm just gonna triple click. I'm gonna click on the button for yes. And then we're gonna try this again. So now if I was to add this in here, Notice how these are being placed on the wall rather than where they were before. So they're being placed based on that axis location for each component. So that's good. That's gonna do what we wanted to do. But now let's say we want these to be spaced every four feet instead of every eight feet. Well, we can just come in here and we can just set our spacing to four feet. And then notice how I have this selected. I can click on this button right here to apply those attributes. So now these shelves are gonna be created at every four feet. So now we've got our shelving assembly that's gonna add these along a wall or along really any kind of path. So if I was to select this, for example, it'll place these along this path right here. But what we wanna do for the moment is we want to start adding our shelving profiles in here. So we can add our shelving pro profiles just by modeling one of them out and then adding it to our assembly. So the way that I'm gonna do that, is I'm just gonna model this out and we're gonna assume that this is maybe a three quarter inch thick piece of shelving. So I'm just gonna model out my piece of shelving right here and I'm gonna close this in. So what that's done is that's created a face. Well, I can take that face and I can add it as a profile by adding, by clicking on the profile dialog right here. So we'll just click the plus button right here. And we'll just call this 
shelf and click on OK. And in this case, what we're going to want is we're going to want this to get placed based on this corner right here. So what we want to do is we want to set this to the bottom. We'll try bottom left. So if I click right here, yep, that's what we want. So that's going to get placed based on our bottom left. And so I'm just going to place one of these in my model. I find that makes it easier to select a little bit later. But now we just want to add this as a profile member because we want this shelf to get extruded along our path. So we're going to click on profile member right here, click the plus button, and then we're going to select the option to pick from model. And we're going to select this object right here. We'll notice how now this shows a copy of this shelf inside of our model. So we can just click on the button right here after selecting our assembly in order to place that. And so you're going to notice there's a few things in here that need fixing. First off, we need to move this up so that it sits on this piece right here. So we need to set our up down offset of that object by seven and a half inches. So we're just going to come in here and type in 7.5 and then update this. The next thing you're going to notice is this is off on the end by a little bit. So what we want to do is we want to set our left right offset to one and a half inches. So we're going to do 1.5 and then update this. Notice how now that's being offset out one and a half inches right here. So now it's being placed in the proper location. One thing to note about this, and I'm going to delete out this edge that I drew. Notice how at the end, this support is being placed on the end of our assembly. Well, we want to set that back by the thickness of our object because it's overrunning this by a quarter inch. So we just want to go back into our components real quick. We want to set our end setback to a quarter inch. So now if I update this, this is going to be placed in the proper location. So from here, we just need to add our other shelves. And for each one of our shelves, each one of these needs to go up another one foot six inches. So I need to add new profile build or new profile members for each one of my shelves. So I'm just going to have this first one selected and then I'm going to click the plus button right here. All right. So for this one, it needs to have a vertical offset of two foot, one and a half inches. So we're going to type in two foot, 1.5 inches. We're going to update this. So now this shelf is right here. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to add the rest of these really quick and then we'll come and take another look at our assembly. So now you've got a quick shelving assembly that you can add to walls inside of your models like this. Notice how if you wanted to, you could also place this along multiple different edges as well. So you could put this along an arc and that's going to generate this shelving really quickly. All right, so I will link to a couple other videos about Profile Builder on this page. If you want to vote on the next extension that I cover on the channel, make sure to check out my Patreon page in order to do that. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.